XP that you gain if you're going for maximum efficiency. However, it really de depends on how you define efficiency as you can gather things like coconuts and nightshade and cacti all pretty, all pretty um, AFK and in line with the rest of your skills. And so maybe it is pretty efficient to just sit down for 30 minutes once you have all this material and just crack open a bunch of coconuts. I mean, it's a bunch of free experience at the end of the day. And uh, if it's not your cup of tea, then only do Weapon Poison Plus Plus. As, you know, I overmade um, coconut milks for my Weapon Poison Plus Plus. Um, in reality, I didn't need to make nearly as much as I did. And that's an important thing to know. As, as much time will, will not be spent on the actual coconut process if you're not doing regular weapon poison plus. Now you can see I'm missing, mixing them here for some very nice experience and uh, this is when the XP gained uh, begins. Okay, 
so I need blood rune. Well, that's good then. That makes sense. Um, that's easy. We'll just need one plus five boost in that case. Oh, and, um, <laughs> sorry, I missed myself going into the weapon poison plus here, so you'll see me chop some XP out from that. Which, again, I'm, I was only limited to my red spider eggs that I had left over. Although, if you don't mind sitting down, Nip Gang, again, it's really not that bad. And uh, it's definitely better herbal or XP per hour if you have the cacti than most methods I could think of off the top of my head. <laughs> and doing your cactus runs is, is pretty easy. If you have Addis seeds, especially, you could you could grab quite a quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of cacti in a short period of time. Like I said, I got my like 800 and I think a week of playing very rigorously, you know, while I was sick. So, you know, that's a lot. Say I got a thousand of that and a thousand red spider eggs. You know, I have you know, like 170,000 experience. You know, however much weapon poison plus it gives you, it's like 170, 160. So, yeah, again, it's, it's really good here. Herbs that you get from herb runs don't, uh, they don't go towards potions that give you that much experience, typically. Or at least I'm not grabbing seeds anymore that are giving me, um, herbs that go towards a high volume of herb lore. A lot of my herb lore XP seems to be coming from, um, I mean, I don't want to say a lot of it is coming from alternative methods, but now, yeah, I'd say a lot of it is coming just from attack potions and Sarah Brews, definitely. This patch that you're wa watching me make here uh, definitely comes from a very long time, like maybe half a month or even more towards like a month of doing a good amount of Slayer and not kingdoms, because I, I haven't been collecting herbs from kingdoms for a while while I do my construction grind, but yeah, a lot of slayer. You can see here I'm about to go do a, uh, a birdhouse run in the middle of this, and I decided to uh, leave it in. I don't know. It's a, it's a little good way to, to parse it up, I suppose. If I'm doing herb lore, I better go, uh, go and get my bird's nests. And at this point, too, I've actually kind of run out even of toad flax seeds, which is hilarious. I never really thought that day would come. And so my need for bird's nests hasn't stagnated, but it's not, like, as out of control as it used to be to the point where I would just constantly, you know, I was in constant need of like thousands of bird's nests because I had, you know, hundreds and hundreds of uh, toad flags saved up. Yeah, you can see there I only have uh, 600 unfinished toad flags. That was probably all that I had at the time. And I have about 400 now, so I'm short about probably 900 bird houses or so. I mean, 900 bird's nests or so, which is a lot. I mean, I'm not going to discount how much that is. That's definitely going to require giant mole farming to catch up, but I really want my Darox before I do any giant mole. Um, like, for real. It's a little more tolerable with the cannon, because I could get around his burrowing mechanic a little bit easier, set up in that spot that I was, you know, kind of tweaking. But still, um, Nothing beats Darox a giant mole, I, I don't think. At least nothing until, like, Twisted Bow, Enhanced Crystal Era. Which even then, you know, I don't know. Does it really... So I'm about to hit 82 wood crafting uh, in game right now. I have about 4,000 experience left, so that's a couple silly set. And so I'm making progress, but I still have a long way to go. It's gonna be a... Uh, let's, let's check here how much experience until 85. Oh, yeah. We have about 800,000 experience to go, which is over 6,600 silly steps, which really sucks. Um, 
it's actually kind of funny that teaks give as much experience as they do. But I don't like doing teaks. And if you're an Iron Man, you should not be doing teaks either. If you can do Silly Sep, as it's really, really important to get your fossils out of the way so that you can um, finish up your museum for the XP lamps. I think you get something like 200,000 total XP lamp experience, which is a lot, guys. I mean, obviously, I don't really need to tell you that 200,000 lamp experience is a lot at any point in the game, but here I am telling you, just in case you don't know, apparently. Obviously, for me, <laughs> you already know where that's going. That's going towards Urblor. I believe the, the large cases give you um, 5,000 each, so it's something like 2,000, 2,600, and then 5,000. I don't remember what the uh, rare fossils contribute to. If those are part of the display, like maybe the heads for the large fossils, I don't know. Probably not. I mean, that wouldn't make any sense, but yeah. Not sure what the rare fossils go towards. So now, I don't know how long I've been doing it because I haven't been paying attention to my screen, but we're doing some Sarah Brews, and this is going to be... Okay, so it looks like I kind of just started it. This is going to be the real bulk of my experience, despite the fact that I've already gone through 140,000. And now remember, like 40,000 of that or so was in just alternative methods, which is really nice. Actually, it looks, here, looks like I'm about to do my antidotes here. Nope going all over the place, but I, I do also have to do my antidotes. That's another thing, guys. u roots, of course. Uh, collect your u roots for your antidote pluses. Antidote plus is uh, best in slot for poison because plus plus is going to be used for your anti-venoms, and those are going to be useful later on, obviously. See here, I'm making some more super strength. I guess I want to save uh, my Sarah Brews for something. I'm not sure what, though. I know I finish up a lot of them in the Barak Bank. So, I, uh, yeah, okay, so, here, about to 82 wood cutting at the same time that I hit 84 herblor in the video, so that's pretty cool. Nice uh, sync up there. <laughs> Although I, I still have a little bit to go until 84 herblor in the video. Despite it being time lapsed. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but for me, training Herblore on, like, a regular account back when was totally intolerable, because it was, I mean, it was just, it was just this. I mean, there really is no alternative, but on an Iron Man, despite the fact that it's just this, it is so clearly going towards, um, a goal, whether that be continuing to stack my uh, potion stack or the actual herbal RXP itself, which is really nice. There's always something to look forward to doing herbal on an iron. I've definitely come to accept that. that's a catch-22 because it's only so satisfying to train because it's so difficult to actually get the XP for it. And yeah, I, I accept that. See, I'm about to do something. Oh, yeah, okay, so I'm about to go to Verrock just to finish up the rest of my runes. I mean, to finish up the rest of my Sarah Brews. Actually, I'm, I'm going to decant my potions right now, I believe, just to check where I'm at with the uh, my bulk ones. This is something I probably should have um, cut out of the video beforehand, but since I'm rambling, I probably won't, since the times are going to kind of sync up now. We yeah, were doing pretty well. Um, my prayer potion stack has kind of always been in limbo at around 700, because ever since it kind of got up to that point, I've been engaging in grind 
ingredients that use it up. There's my 82 wood cutting. Whew, it's a lot of, yeah, again, a lot of time before I'm 85. Here we go. Finishing up the herb lord grind out in West Verrock Bank. Classic place. It's funny that 85 wood cutting seems like such a chore and such a bad grind because, again, back in the day, if you guys remember, like, if you know a little bit about your RuneScape history, 99 wood cutting was the first 99. Back when, you know, Andrew Coward didn't really even believe anyone would get any 99s because the game's XP system wasn't really designed around farming 99s like we do now. And aside from being the first 99, it was actually quite a common. 99 for people. I think just because it was AFK, but more than that, it, you know, it had a certain charm to it that something like mining kind of had, but um, A, a little bit more rustic, and B, much, much easier to train and max than mining, which has always been a massive chore, but was never a worse chore than it was back in the day. I don't even know when the first mining max was. I'm assuming it was probably one of the later ones, despite being a gather skill. Let's see here, I gotta make sure I'm doing Herblore in my drip outfit. I mean, you know, you, you gotta. It's the only way to do it. Like, I did not realize going into Iron Man, for example, that Sarah Brews were a, um, a toad flax <laughs> potion. So it's it's funny the way the game is designed around upper level potions being typically more difficult to obtain. I just don't think Jagex when they implemented the Sarah Brew, I don't think they were maybe thinking about how powerful and like how meta it would actually turn out to be, which is quite powerful and it is quite the meta. And it's it's super restores that end up being your limiting reagent. Which are you know, a much lower level potion. Kind of worked in our favor though, because now we have access to a lot more XP. Having Sarah Bruce, uh, you know, being one of the big ones, however, though, that, you know, back in the day too, birdhouses were, I believe, they were more expensive GP-wise, uh, neglecting inflation, so when you account for the fact that we have an inflated market now versus then, I guess Sarah Bruce actually weren't even as common because of the lack of bird's nest. When kingdoms came out, people definitely, you know, they were grabbing their maple logs through kingdoms because that was stable GP um, maple logs themselves, which is so weird to think about. Uh, I will never forget how shocked I was to find out that the maple log has dropped to like 1 HP. I meant to say 1 GP, of course. Yeah, we're, we're really killing it here on the uh, Herblar grind. It looks like we're getting pretty close to finishing up our um, Toad Flag stack, though. Yep, only 30 bird's nest to go. And that it's very possible that that actually wraps it up. I don't remember. I know this is not very long, so if it does, I'll have to, uh, to sign, you guys, sign you guys off to uh, contain this video. I just, I guess, wanted this to be a short ramble over some nice herb lore gains, just in case you guys are uh, you know, interested in seeing bulk experience gains. Those are can be satisfying videos for some kind of like uh, clue scroll grinds, like opening clue scrolls. So yeah.